Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here, approximately 111 in Honolulu, 611 in New York on Tuesday, 11th day of January 2022. And this is uh, the Daily Report for gold and silver. The economy has rapidly gained strength despite the ongoing pandemic, giving rise to persistent supply and demand imbalances and bottlenecks and to elevated inflation. We know that high inflation exacts a toll, particularly for those less able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. On inflation, wh why do we say transitory? We, did, we said that because we thought that these supply side uh, bottlenecks and shortages would be alleviated much more quickly than they have been. If you look across you know, the global supply chains and what's happening domestically, look at our ports, look at, look at Long Beach and LA, the two big ports on the West Coast for Asia, the, the number of ships at anchor is, is it still at a record level. So we're not really seeing yet the kind of progress we essentially, uh, all forecasters, really thought we'd be seeing by now. And that's, that's really what's driving it. In anticipation of tomorrow's release of the December CPI numbers coming in at a new historical high of 7% in the CPI and the core CPI at 5.4%, from 4.9% in November, coupled with the fact that Chairman Powell continued to believe that they could address the high levels of inflation without slowing down the economic recovery at play with a much more dovish stance, led gold substantially higher, up $22.70 with the February contract currently fixed at $1,821.50. Silver also had a tremendous gain, raising the price by about 36 cents, and the March silver futures are currently at $22.82. The dollar itself did come under pressure today, giving up four-tenths of a percent, and is currently fixed at $95.61. This first chart we are looking at is a 10-minute candlestick chart of February gold futures. We can see the effect of Powell's testimony. This represents 9 o'clock in New York when gold was trading at $1,802 per ounce. As he spoke, we saw consecutive ticks up to higher pricing almost each and every 10-minute period. We had one small decline until it peaked out just at about $1,823. The high was $2,310, and then diminished ever so slightly with the current fixed price of gold, February futures at $1,821.50. Of course, we entered the trade some time ago, and we will send out a special trade alert prior to the open of the New York markets tomorrow with our new suggested place to trail our stop up to. And to do that, let's take a look at our current technical studies that give us some insight into various levels of support and resistance. Traders, we are looking at a daily candlestick chart of February gold. We have marked our entry price which is 1787.60 right here. Our current stop, which is at 1772, our level of major support and support, and different areas of resistance that we are looking at. We have kind of talked about over the last few days where we would look to put our stops. As I said, to give you an idea of what we're looking at, we are looking at the 50-day moving average at 1806 as well as the 61.8% retracement level at 1804. And we'll look to put it probably somewhere just below that price point. We want to have some room for basic oscillation in the market, but we do want to lock in profits at this point because they are quite sizable. I would not be surprised if the numbers come out tomorrow as forecasted that we see a further rise, and I believe our next level of resistance will come in at approximately $1,833.40 if gold does continue to move higher, as I believe it should be at least steady to higher, all things being equal. 
So we will move our stops somewhere below this price point is what I am anticipating and above 1799.70, which is this particular line here. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.